Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Alex. How you doing? Not too bad, you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Am I right in thinking yesterday was matching your PB? Was matching my PB, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I would, and I saw the time and I thought, oh, we'll take that. And then Matt went seven and a half, eight tenths quicker. Um, yeah. Which was unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. I mean, for, if anyone's in any doubt, um, all of us in the top ten saw what Matt did and went, oh my God, <laughs> I've got no idea. Um, that was a stunning try. That was a proper... Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like you just watch that and you go, oh, I, I haven't got one of those in me. So uh, it's obviously a shame for, for us from a championship point of view, but it, it, it's good to see that you know. That it, it's, sometimes you just got a like, fair play round of applause. Yeah. So um, yesterday was mega from that point of view. Uh, weirdly today, with it being so hot, it's sort of easier to get to a time, but somehow the car doesn't feel quite so good. It seems to be moving around a bit more and uh, stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, so and I'm sure he will have another very good look at the 32 today. We'll yeah. try it as close as we can. Yeah, I mean, I noticed um, there's uh, there's a car over there with uh, tyre covers that are reflecting the heat, not, um, you know, yes. tyre temperature an issue with the temperature of the sun. Yeah, it can be. I mean, yeah. not so much with the fronts, um, but in the past we have put, um, we put like wet towels and stuff on tyres. Um, here we don't get a lot, it's not a very high deg venue when mm -hmm. deck I mean you know tires don't get damaged particularly we took a set off after the runoff yesterday and it arguably they didn't need anything doing to them right um, so yeah I, I wouldn't I'm not sure I would put cold wet towels on today but it is it is um, yeah very high track temperature very high air temperature relatively speaking so, yeah um, it's different it's different yeah yeah I bet it's an absolute beast to drive that up there yeah I mean the numbers are pretty ridiculous I just put a film the rear suspension for fun um, oh, wow. and, and, or, with the GoPro, and you watch the video and just think, oh my god, we're not doing that, are we? Um, so it's, it is interesting how, even after 10 years of driving cars like this, still getting in first practice and mind blown. Yeah. And you think, how am I ever going to get used to this? And then throughout the day, you slowly recalibrate. And I think that is the hardest thing about hill climbing. You can't go off and do three slow laps. No, you don't have that option. But we're doing, we're doing about 130 before Bunny's there, which is not taking us very long from the exit of Turn 1. Um, but you know, where, where the car is, these cars, all of them, they, they benefit a lot over things like F1 cars because they don't have to carry the fuel. Um, the regulations are very different. Obviously side impact and rear impacts aren't necessarily a concern because we've got no, no other drivers on track, no mirrors and things like that. So we, we're sort of 450 kilos without me sat in it, quite a lot more with me sat in it. Um, and somewhere under 700 horsepower. So the numbers are, Ridiculous. I water it. Yeah. yeah. And well, we like it. We like that, it. That's two to one, isn't it? In terms of weight for a Formula One car, these two weigh about the same as a Formula One car these days. Uh, yeah, Total. maybe full of fuel with a driver on the grid. I think they're about 780 kilos or something, aren't they? Yeah. So they're, they're a, you know, 300 odd kilos heavier than us, um, which is a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's why we like it. That's yeah. why we keep coming back. And it's narrow, isn't it? It's very narrow. This one is quite narrow, particularly through the gate. That's quite a, a tricky section um, because if you go too slowly, obviously you lose time. If you go too quick, you risk understeering, and that you either then got to back right out of it, or you, you you're going to do some damage. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. part of the challenge here. There's a mix. There's a nice mixture of scary fast stuff and and technical slow stuff. Um, but what's really special today is, I mean, five, six, seven, eight years ago. There would be people here, but now it's three deep all the way up the hill. The it's crowd amazing. is amazing. Isn't it? Pick the club do a really, really good job. Um, as to you guys with the stream and everything, and we see that with Hill Climb UK, mm. uh, slightly further north, that um, the engagement and social media and stuff like that is really starting to pay dividends. And you know, it's great for everyone if we get a big crowd here, more money at the gate, uh, more exposure for the sport and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's it's a cool place to come. It's always really welcoming. We always have a good time. Um, yeah, if I hadn't been beaten by eight tenths yesterday, I think I'd be, <laughs> I over think I'd be absolutely over the moon. I am anyway, because, you know. Um, you get yeah. to do it all again today. Uh, yeah, we get to have another go. Um, yeah, it's, it's a privilege. It always is. Um, great place, lovely people and uh, great equipment. So, yeah, yeah. yeah very happy. Cool. Well, thanks for having me. No worries. Thanks, buddy. Cheers, Cheers mate. Take care. Time. Cool. So there you go. That's the inside track on what it's like to drive one of these incredible cars up the hill.